Hello, I'm Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. The goal of my videos is to show you how to make easy, quick, low-cost sewing projects to decorate your home. I'm going to demonstrate how to make a ruffle that I sometimes put on to throw pillows and the ends of table runners. Now, there are fabric gathering pressure feet that you can use on your sewing machine, but they can be expensive, about $40. So, if you're going to make a lot of ruffles, I recommend you purchase one. I'm going to show you how to make a ruffle that can be sewn onto the ends of a table runner. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to make a small ruffle using black thread so you can see my stitches. Now, here is how you measure for your ruffle. As far as the length goes, I want to make a finished size of 8 inches. So I'm going to double that to 16 inches. Then I'll add a half inch seam allowance. So the total length of my fabric will be 16 and a half inches. As far as the width, I want just a one inch finish size. I'm going to double that to two inches and add a seam allowance of one inch so my width will be three inches. So here's my cut fabric strip. It's three inches wide by sixteen and a half inches long. I'm going to take this strip and fold it right sides together in half. Then put a pin at each end to secure it. Then go to your sewing machine and from this raw edge go in one fourth of an inch and sew a line of stitches. And then do the same thing on the other end from the raw edge, go in one fourth of an inch and sew a line of stitches. Then you're going to take this strip and turn it right side out smooth out your corners so they're nice and pointed then go to your ironing board and press the strip then put a few pins in to secure those raw edges now this next step can be either done by hand or by machine if you're going to do your basting by hand all you need is a single strand of thread and a hand needle but I recommend using the basting stitch on your sewing machine if you have one. So from the raw edge, you're going to go in just one eighth of an inch and sew a line of basting stitches. Then go in one eighth of an inch from that and sew a second line of basting stitches. And make sure you leave tails of thread at each end. You're going to need those for the next step, so don't cut those off. Now you're going to separate your top threads from the bottom threads. Hold on to the top threads with one hand and begin to push your fabric towards the center. You're going to do the same thing on the other end and you're going to gradually keep pushing your fabric into the center. Now when you're done, you're going to see that there's a natural curve to your ruffle. So when you go to pinch to excuse me to pin it into a seam, you're going to need to use more pins than you normally would to keep the ruffle straight. And as you're pinning, you want to smooth your ruffles out. Now, here is what it looks like when it is sewn to a machine. Well, there you have a ruffle. I hope this was helpful to you. If you want to learn how to sew a ruffle onto a table runner, watch my video, How to Sew a Ruffle or Fringe onto a Table Runner. If you want complete instructions for sewing a, ta for sewing a table runner, watch my video, How to Sew a Table Runner. To keep informed on all my sewing project videos, click on subscribe. That's that red button at the bottom of your screen. I'm Cheryl. I hope you enjoyed visiting my sewing room. See you next time. Happy sewing.